every time we get some sort of development like this in the Mueller investigation, uh, folks come out and they say, that's it. Maybe we're getting closer and closer to some sort of conclusion. It's all coming together. Coming together, it's coming to a head. Is there any reason to think that that's the case today? Well, I do think that uh, we are getting near the end of the investigation, and uh, I do think we're getting closer in the investigation, uh, according to what Bob Mueller laid out in this indictment, to the president himself. Eamon is correct that the uh, White House is making the distinction between uh, what Roger Stone uh, was charged with and uh, things that the president might have done. However, if you look at that indictment, uh, you see that Bob Mueller lays out that there was two-way communication between Roger Stone and senior Trump campaign officials with them seeking information and receiving information from Roger Stone. That uh, gets uh, closer to the idea of uh, a cooperative relationship between uh, the Trump campaign uh, and the uh, people, uh, uh, WikiLeaks, uh, via Russian intelligence that were uh, putting out this stolen material. Now, there is no uh, charge of conspiracy. Uh, there's no charge of collusion. That's not really a legal concept. But uh, this does tie closer the uh, uh, coordinated release of these emails to the Trump campaign, direct communication, according to Bob Mueller. President tweeting now, John. Um, I'll just read it. Greatest witch hunt in the history of our country. No collusion. Uh, border coyotes, drug dealers, and human traffickers are treated better. Who alerted CNN to be there? That's been one talking point today, uh, given the video that uh, CNN was able to get about the arrest. Uh, I guess that's the president's, uh, that, that's his response to all this, at least so far, separate from the press secretary. That, that, that's his response, but it's an empty one. When you talk about greatest witch hunt in history, look at all the people uh, who have been charged to have pled guilty to felony crimes. Michael Flynn, uh, Rick Gates, who was the national security advisor, Paul Manafort, uh, who was the campaign chairman, Rick Gates, who was the deputy campaign chairman. Uh, and now you've got Roger Stone uh, charged. And uh, as uh, Eamon indicated, Roger Stone has a very long relationship with Donald Trump. Roger Stone has a 40-year relationship with Paul Manafort, who was the campaign chairman. So all of these things are getting closer and closer to the president. And remember, uh, Paul Manafort uh, was present at that June 2016 meeting at Trump Tower with Donald Trump Jr. and Jared Kushner, uh, at which uh, uh, Russians uh, came who had offered uh, damaging material about Hillary Clinton. Uh, the, at some point, the sequence of events uh, uh, begins to look not like a coincidence.